Welcome. In this lecture, I want to talk about relations that are defined by rules. Uh, and this is very common, actually. So we're often interested in in relations defined by rules. Okay, so let's just kind of look by example. I think it'll be clear if I go by example. Okay, so these are examples where our, um, so these are relations on the integers. So these are relations on the integers. Okay, so in the first one, we want to look at, so four. less than or equal, we could write this as the set of all. So to understand that we're talking about less than or equal, we could actually write the set of all a, b. In, right, so it's these integers cross the integers. So we're talking about, you know, the integers cross the integers, satisfying that, and then we have, right, the first one is less than or equal to the second one. Okay, um, and maybe we'll write the, the relation part with that color also, so let's do this, um, no, <laughs> we don't have enough for that. Okay, so for the second one, For equals, we could write the set of all a, b in the integers cross the integers. Satisfying that, and now we want a equals b. Okay, and we can write this in another way. So I could also write this as a set of all uh, a, a. Such that a is in the integers. Okay. And then for congruence, so if you want to talk about uh, Congruence mod 3, for example, so for congruence mod 3, okay, then R would equal the set of all, so now we would have the set of all AB such that, I'm oh, sorry, the set of all AB in the integers cross the integers such that, and then we have a is congruent to b mod 3. Or that this is equal to the set of all, so this is a, b in uh, z cross c. So we have such that, and then we have 3 divides b minus a, so 3 divides, let's just put this b minus a over here. Okay, so I wanted to emphasize something here because I rewrote these in a particular way. Okay, so if I'm looking at this one, or this one, or this one, right? So for each of these, so 
And those are green, so I mean for each of those ones that I just underlined, so each of We're going to have that on the left we wrote an arbitrary element, so on the left wrote an arbitrary element of A cross A, right, so relations on, let me actually write this as A equals um, uh, on A equals Z, so then I could write on A cross A. Okay, um, and then on the right we wrote the defining relationship. It's just kind of a way to write relations. Or, so, and then for each of those, so for each of these, right, where I re, oops, I don't have to do that in, I want to underline these and then do it in orange. I got carried away. Okay, so for each of those ones, how did I redo it? So for each of those, Right. We found a simpler or more illuminating way to describe the set. Okay, so this is just another way to write the set. But it has the same meaning. Okay, so um, a lot of times you want to define a relation by rules, such as if you have um, less than or equal to or equal. So in these ones, we just wrote on, right, this less than or equal just ended up here. The equals ended up here. Congruence mod 3 ended up here. And then sometimes you can rewrite it in a way that just kind of makes more sense, and that's what we did in that part, where you, like, you look at it and you immediately know what we mean. Okay, so that made some sense, and I will see you in the next, in the next lecture.